I use the recipe provided by World Health Organization, although I did cut the ratios to be just enough for 200 milliliters because the original recipe provided actually makes a bigger batch than that. But I don't need that much hand sanitizer. I can always make new ones and I can always customize it again because for this hand sanitizer, I added some sweet orange fragrance oil. It's one of the best fragrance oils in my book at least. So. This just smells like sweet orange after application. It doesn't leave the alcohol pungent smell, which I really like. So if you're into that sort of thing, watch this video until the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will list the ingredients and all the places where you can get the ingredients down in the description box. I have my pitcher ready. I have my water weighed out. Um, I have my dropper for my essential oil. And I also have the rest of the ingredients. I have my spoon that you have to mix the hand sanitizer with. And I also have a dropper to measure out the hydrogen peroxide. I also have another jug just in case I need to chuck something into because I know how clumsy I can get. So let's get started. We first need 150 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. This alcohol has alcohol. <laughs> This alcohol has a concentration of 99%, so it will make your whole hand sanitizer 75% in concentration. If you use an alcohol that is less than 99% in concentration, your hand sanitizer will be less than 75% in concentration. I know the, the word concentration is a lot, but according to who... <laughs> not according to who said it according to world health organization you need a 75 percent in concentration for the hand sanitizer to be effective so enough blabbering let's start 150 ml i was saying that oh my god so get on an eye level and just pour out 150 ml so if you see the picture here you need to be around this level yeah 100 ml 150 ml. A little bit more. Now that we have our alcohol in the pitcher, we now need 9.3 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 3%. So the way we do this is get a dropper that is new. This dropper has a 3 ml limit here, if you can see. 3 ml here. So we need 3 times of this and just approximately around 0.3 on this line here. If you can't really get it to 3, just measure out 2.5. Then you need another 2.5. That's 5. And then you need a 3.2 milliliters of glycerin. So glycerin is very good for skincare as well. I put them in the Nashimi toner and it works amazing because it has such a soothing and moisturizing properties this glycerin is what makes your hand less dry than how it should because if you just rely on the alcohol and the hydrogen peroxide then your skin will be dry so let me try to find my glycerin dropper okay you know what i can't find it therefore i'm gonna get a new one so we need 3.2 mil. So let's just do 3 mil here. If we can't get to 3, we'll do 2.5. Because glycerin can be a bit thick. So it may not travel as easily as liquid. Because it is a liquid, but it's like a gel as well. And that is approximately 3.2. We have everything in we now mix our last ingredient that according to the recipe of the who because we just need water that we weighed out I will put down the list of ingredients down below don't worry about that this in itself is enough as a hand sanitizer 
and you can use it as is but you know me I like my essential oils too much and for this I actually want to put a sweet orange oil so I just gauge this amount of liquid and for this I think I will put around seven drops of orange fragrance oil so I just put around that much because the oils that I use are very potent oh, that actually smells amazing I like how the alcohol blends with a sweet orange that is it that is our hand sanitizer enough for two weeks for me probably more because I keep buying other hand sanitizers and I still have a bunch but I, I, I think this will be my favorite hand sanitizer and to travel or to go out this is the bottle that I will use it's a bit cloudy because I just washed it but I will dry it and store this hand sanitizer inside the bottle for the rest of the hand sanitizer I will just put it in a bottle which I can just refill this into that is it that is your hand sanitizer so let's just try to put it on your palm it's very liquid like it's not gel like because it just has water but yeah it doesn't feel drying in fact oh it actually smells like alcohol because of course it's very concentrated but i can smell that sweet orange accent to it mm, the, oh you know what the after smell of my hand is so nice. It doesn't smell like alcohol and this has just been on my hand for maybe two seconds. The first smell that you will get is definitely the pungent alcohol but I don't smell the alcohol anymore. Like the oil is really good in scenting your skin. It masks away the alcohol smell after just two seconds. I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with this scent. I'm very happy with the liquid form. I'm happy. I can't even open it. I just... Ugh.